This is my brand new Ferrari. And this is my brand new front mat. Good to see you, bro. And this is the moment where the Swiss police try to take away my brand new Ferrari and my brand new front mat. However, this isn't the worst thing that happened on this trip. It's about to get a whole lot worse. I'm in the middle of nowhere. I genuinely... Yeah, electrical system failure. This is saying it's in reverse. Well, it isn't. Let's go! Battery, battery. My life is over. But how did I get to this point? Three months ago, I bought my absolute dream car. I bought one of the last ever produced Ferrari 812 GTSs. I got every bell and whistle that you can possibly imagine. It is the perfect car. Bar one thing, one thing that Ferrari couldn't help me with. Do you remember when F1 sounded like F1 when they still used V12s? That's how I wanted my Ferrari to sound. So I set off to Germany to perfect my Ferrari 812 GTS. It's now time to reveal my 812 GTS. I've done a little bit more than I was intended to do. I didn't want to go mayhem, but I did. I did go mayhem. Before I'm going to show you the end result of my A12 GTS, I just want to apologize towards my family. I am sorry, but we have no food on the table for a couple of weeks. To my neighbors, I sincerely want to apologize to my neighbors because this is going to be noisy. What have you done to my A12 GTS? <laughs> we finished you the best example. Ever. The we best lowered, exhaust ever! We've lowered the Insane. suspension. You lower the suspension, yes. And look at the wheels. They are absolutely Absolutely insane. It's a complete and other different car. First of all, it sounds like an F1 car. It already sounded beautiful, but it's nothing in comparison to what it sounds now. Right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Novitek is only 200 kilometers away of the most beautiful roads in the world. So I thought, you know what? We're gonna test this car out properly. I'm actually in Switzerland. Just arrived yesterday, actually. I arrived at like 12, so I haven't really enjoyed this place. I just wanted to be close to a mountain and get the car out for a beautiful drive. And guess what happened? I f***ing bumped into someone that I'm a big fan of. Look at that beautiful scenery as well. What are you doing here? <laughs> What's going on, son? What you is going me. on, son? You followed me. You followed me. It's good to see you, bro. And you? Are we going to wreck some roads or wreck some cars? What yeah, are we going to do? Noise. <laughs> Coincidentally, Matt's plans were to drive to Monaco. So I've asked him very kindly, can I please leech off your content and join you on an incredible road trip? <laughs> As I was the only one really driving the car, I really wanted to hear the car from the outside. I also wanted to have Matt's opinion what he thought about the exhaust and the car in general. It sounds even better outside than this. <laughs> That's insane! That's insane! That wasn't me driving my car. That was Matt. So, Matt, what is your verdict? <laughs> There's a poor cyclist in there who's now dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was insane. I've never heard a car sound that good. <laughs> On our way to Milan, we stopped at a petrol station. And that petrol station became our playground. <laughs> This is fantastic! This is the first day of the car being like this, so yeah. it is just like a child coming through. Press police! Oh, please, please, please! Please, they want us, they want us! <laughs> Sorry. So we're going, yeah? Yeah, so, we're, so we're going, yeah? We're going, yeah. I've yeah. never had a foreign police chase before. <laughs> oh, he does not look happy, does he? And for the first time in my life, I got properly arrested by the police. Sorry. So it wasn't us. It wasn't me. It was him. <laughs> I'll go get it. It took us on a 40 kilometer drive to the police station where we all thought that they were gonna seize our cars. So I have a wee bit of a problem. We didn't do anything crazy. We didn't speed, we didn't do anything. <laughs> But police is uh, escorting us to a police station. Like, genuinely, we didn't do anything. I have proof of that. 
Uh, the Swiss police, so they're, they're very hardcore, you know. Well, the police escorted us to the police station. I had to make a few phone calls, one of which was to a Swiss solicitor, just to get advice. His stance was very clear. If they do not have proof, do not admit to anything. So, this is the door to the police station. Police cars everywhere. Polizia, polizia. No, we were waiting over here with the cars, hoping that we don't get too in trouble. This is not ideal. So I held up this bullshit story with the three cars, right? He's like, no, you didn't burn out. It's like, mate, check my car. I didn't do a burnout, right? I just didn't. <laughs> Is there a walkie-talkie in my car? I've got no. it now. Good, because he's like, you've walkie-talkies and all sorts. No, and I'm like, not walkie-talkie in your car. Mate, it's I, in our car, not in yours. Yeah, and I'm like, mate, I don't have a walkie-talkie. I don't have a speed radar. I don't have any modifications. I don't have cameras. He's like, you do, you do, you do. And I was like, yeah, you didn't burn out. It's like... Mate, you can't half call, call that a burnout, mate. You see those stripes? That was from three cars before, a GTR. Yeah. I need to go back, I just wanted to have a smoke, right? Yeah. This one really blew my mind, right? Because they went through our social media and checked mm -hmm. on stories and stuff. Luckily, none of us put anything yeah, of the so stories. So uh, we got we got away there quite all right. So my fine is going to be 550 francs. They're going to do some extra digging in that car if there's a speed detector and yeah. whatever the f which there isn't. 550 francs, that ain't too bad. 500, no, that ain't too bad. During the police escort, I called Matt and Chris separately to make sure that they wouldn't admit to what we've done. Proper. But what did you say, no, no? I just said it, well, I mean, there's three people there before, and then he said, there's, um, then he says, okay, your engine's too loud, so I'm firing you for that. I, I, and I'm, I just weren't arguing with, yeah. the, with that. And then he says, your friend said he did a burnout before we went. Did you do a burnout? I said, I did not do those big ones there. I said, when I left, I might have revved it and did a bit of a spin. And then they were like, okay. No, I didn't do it, yeah. but he done exactly the same to yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. no, I didn't do a burnout. I said, I did three, I, I said, there was three cars there before us. It was a massive crowd and we pulled up and watched them. He says, well, you pulled in the wrong way, so that's yeah, fine. So uh, let's put it this way, I right? Know I just got a text if message. Ahead. If they have proof, I think that three car story saved their ass because yeah. if they had proof they would seize the car yeah they, they were saying they were saying that oh we can get cameras up there if we want to if you disagree with paying the fine I was like, i'm paying the fine but yeah. it's just weird that we got shafted for the same thing and i didn't do anything yeah thanks boys well should i'll, I'll, I'll get, get yours police station? Yeah. i'll pay for chris's because chris literally didn't do anything back on the road back in the mess i'll go lesson learned don't mess with the swiss police <laughs> should i just do it down in here Right outside the police station. Yeah, they just not? find us. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Good <laughs> idea. Somehow we managed to get off with a few fines, but I was extremely grateful that we were able to leave the police station after three hours. So now we're finally able to head towards Milan. What was supposed to be a two-hour drive turned out to be a six-hour nightmare. Whoa, what's going on here, son? Trying to find the SD card. Then we hid it from the police because we thought they were going to take all the SD cards because they were making us delete footage. <laughs> yeah. Because so like, don't lose that footage. I was like, all right, we're hiding it. So we've got to see if we can find it. <laughs> it is a unbelievable sounding car this you know do you know what uh, for the money like, i think he paid 25 grand for it how much was it to rebuild like 10 20 grand so yeah. the best thing he got uh, a fine for doing donuts which he didn't do yeah and a fine for his car being too loud which it has a stock exhaust on <laughs> <laughs> I, I wonder whose car was too loud <laughs> no i'll tell you that. I'm allergic. I over with the police twice yeah, today yeah, but the funny bit is matt and myself pulled up full first gear police siren but you were behind so we just kept on driving and he stopped too <laughs> because chris was constantly the last of the three cars he was of course the one that got stopped first i've got no time for it man matt to the rescue again yeah. hey! oh, yes that is yes what a guy what a guy <laughs> now i can show my friends i've done a donut <laughs> Thankfully, we and the cars all made it into Milan with the plan to leave tomorrow morning to Monaco. I'm not gonna lie, I'm currently freaking out a wee bit because I have to go to Monaco and my car is so extremely loud, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get in trouble. The people in Monaco and the police in Monaco, although you see the most insane cars there, they do not like loud cars. And my A12 is probably the loudest car I have ever heard in my life. Task for today, get to Monaco and try not to get the rest. Come on, hurry up. What? <laughs> Did you just pay for my room? <laughs> Travel with Matt Armstrong and they will pay for everything. You see what I mean? What a beautiful lineup. What a beautiful lineup. Matt and Matt. 
309 kilometers to go. Just getting some fuel and then we're leaving Milan. First fuel stop of the day. Honestly, mate, can you do me one favor? And I'm genuinely asking you this, right? You're driving like a map. No, right? you're there behind me, egging me on. No, 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 no. He's driving like a map, <laughs> right? And I drive sometimes like a map. And I'm not a stranger of sometimes breaking a wee bit of a rule, you know? But at the moment, there's two police cars circling around us, right? So there's one, let me show you, there's a car in front of it. There's one there, and then there's one, I don't know where it went. Driving too fast is fun, right? With two cars, it's fun. But if it with four cars, we're actually safe. The chances are this significantly so lower. Is it laws not count when you have four cars, but they do when you have two? No, 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 that's incorrect. The laws apply with four cars as well, but one police officer cannot uh, stop four cars. Oh, so uh, you were behind. That was the problem. Yes, uh, I was behind. So when you I got pulled over yesterday because yeah. I was behind, then it wasn't a problem. No, exactly. No, 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 no. You, you see what I'm trying to make yeah. you look like the bad person, but really, he's just scared. <laughs> <laughs> Donuts. Yeah, every petrol station we're gonna have to get donuts because uh, we're waiting for the police to pull us over and then we can give them yeah. them and they'll be nice to us. I've already paved my donuts and not had them, so I'll just take them. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. Thank you. He got arrested for doing donuts, which he didn't do. He genuinely didn't do. Look who finally decided to show up. I've been here the whole time. This is what I've been waiting for. Exactly. Well, about an hour and a half in our trip, the first car broke down and that was, of course, a Lamborghini, what can I say? So tell me, Matt, what, what's going on here? So on the end of this bolt, on the underside, Side, yeah. it holds a chain guide on. Yeah. So the Allen key on the other side there, the bolt screws onto the top and that's loose. So that's it's leaking all out the top because it's loose. But if that comes undone and drops into the engine, game over for the uh for the engine. Yeah, yeah. We can't tighten it up because we can't get to the underside of it. Aye. So how do you get access to the underside? Is that taking the whole You have to oh. take the whole thing off, yeah. Oh yeah. that's tricky, that's tricky. In the midst of all this misery, I just want to say it is pretty cool to see Matt Armstrong working. <laughs> In real life! In real life! As far as I know, the Mushlago is not the most reliable car in the world. Oh, no, eh? no. It's done well to make it this far. <laughs> We had this brilliant idea to go to the petrol station and get super glue. But we need to figure out if super glue is flammable. It's not gonna work. No, super glue, it will actually keep the screw in place, but. The likelihood of that bolt falling through onto that chain is extremely high at this point, and the whole engine just goes dumb. But I hope it gets this sorted because I wanna go to Monaco. I'm dying for a pina colada. Yo. Oh. Tape. Tape. Does tape not light up? I think tape would melt. Yeah. Thing gets hot, yeah. Non flammable super glue, yeah. please. Or new bolts. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> right, at least we secured the car. And it's now a safer place than it was before. Now Matt is gonna fix it or he's gonna do his Matt magic. As we couldn't fix the problem there and then, Matt decided to slow down a wee bit and drive more carefully. I don't think that noise is legal, to be honest. I think this is not really legal. I don't know what to do because I need to get into Monaco and I'm for sure gonna be in trouble with this. Matt's car has some issues and my car's too loud. It's gonna be a wee bit of a challenge, I think. After crossing the Italian border, we were stuck in a traffic jam. That's where everything went wrong. I'm just gonna check something, look at that. Anyway, I think I have a problem getting into Monaco. Why? These exhaust. That oh, cop, that, that is, loud. that is ridiculous, You're man. Get, like, the police will be on you. You got quiet mode. No. Oh. It's either loud or louder. See, I'm quite good because I've got... What? I've got this. That's why I don't like leaving it. Right. I think... And then this is my quiet. It sounds the same. <laughs> it doesn't... Wait, wait, it's just... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. Much. Yes! Yeah, legends! Legend! Suddenly, every single warning light showed on my screen. I have absolutely no idea what is going on. Yo, look. What oh, happens when you press the key? Is there Loads of warning lights, lights, like ESP, everything. Shut all the doors and lock the car, and then unlock the car again, 
lock. And then do it again. Right, Chris, unlock it. It won't lock. It won't lock. We're trying it. We're trying to jump it on the battery. What is in the battery, sir? It screams battery stuff to me, but I'm not sure. So we've detached the battery, right? I'm in the middle of nowhere. Where's the key? Right, let's hope. Come on. Let's see. So it's bonnet. Does that look normal? normal? Blind spot. Not Blind yet. Blind spot detection temporary fail. Yeah. Nice. We're stuck on the left lane, the fast lane on a motorway in Italy. We are now the cause of the traffic jam behind us. Was that a whole busload of people laughing at you? <laughs> yeah, I, know. I know, I know. Fair play for it. I drove like a you this is karma. Fair enough. Yeah. I'll take it on the chin. Yeah. Or in the bum. I don't want to look. <laughs> <laughs> right, are we going to hook this back up? Yeah. Are we going to do it? Okay, let's go. Come on, let's hope it starts. I'm gonna see if it starts now. Maybe it's cool dying. Come on, car. No. Nope. Nothing. I genuinely yeah, feel- Yeah, electrical system failure. It's still got the electrical fault. So I reckon we jump start it, see if that gets the power, and then if that doesn't work, it's gotta to go to Ferrari. It's not, it's, it's toast. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. toast. I just think it's clapped. Yeah. <laughs> yeah done. <laughs> done. Right, let's jump start it. Okay. It seems like I have more problems than just the Monaco uh, police, basically. So we managed to get, I have managed to get it started, but we've still got loads of problems. Okay, try putting it in gear now. Yes. Yes, it's in gear, it's in gear, it's in gear. Right. Do you see that 450 meters there? See, that's how far it's gonna make it. That's where we're gonna stop. <laughs> we're cool dine, we're gonna have a coffee, and we're gonna restart it. Okay, do you reckon we do pina coladas? I really yes, I need one. I need yes. Let's hit the road. <laughs> You see, it is it is running. This is saying it's in reverse, while well, it isn't. So we're advised here now to just not drive her for about an hour, 30, 45 minutes an hour. So how do you about, feel about that? Who's got time for that? I want to get to Monaco. <laughs> I was promised a pina colada and one of those mini burgers. <laughs> here I am with a bouncy, half of a uh, half-eaten tuna sandwich that goes out of date in a month. <laughs> It's not quite the same. Right, we just got to this petrol station thing. Uh, left her for about 30 minutes. She's still giving all the warnings. We're gonna jump start her now. Chris actually thinks it's got to do with the battery. It's electrical. Yeah, for That's sure. All I can say. <laughs> like I was driving her hard 30 minutes before. We were just in a traffic jam when this happened, you know. You want me to start it? Three, two, one. That's bad news. Is it, on, is, it on, is it on properly? Is it on properly? Go again. Yeah. Three, two, one. Nothing. Nothing. I genuinely think it just needs a new battery. Yeah. That's what I think. I am somewhere in Italy and I have a three month old Ferrari 812 GTS. So you're in Italy? Yeah. Yes, yeah, ironic. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it needs recovering to Ferrari. It needs a recovery we, to Ferrari. We, we've spoken to our contacts at Ferrari in Ireland and they said we need to recover the car to the dealership for it to be fixed there because it won't go into gear, won't register it's in gear. It's a big problem. There's every warning light possible on the dash. It won't yeah. start without a jumper. Aye. The list goes on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just lying down here, mate. Just, uh, my car doesn't work. My YouTube channel doesn't work. My life is over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dumb. I think he's lost it. <laughs> and finally, after hours of waiting, the recovery truck arrived. Let's go! Woo! Yes! Yes! <laughs> it also seems we have a wee bit of a language barrier because he thinks by just jump starting the car, all the problems are gone. Battery, battery. Um maybe. Yeah. Dead. Maybe. Battery. Maybe. Yes, battery. Caput, no? yeah. Yeah. Caput. battery. Caput. battery. Okay. Yeah. What's your name, sir? Luca. 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 Lovely to meet you, oh. Luca. <laughs> battery? Battery on the right. Okay. He's got he's probably got a jump pack that will start it, but I don't think it's gonna fix our problems. Nope. No start. No. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Have you got any words from that you want someone to translate? Um, excuse me, uh, io voglio uh, Ferrari um, caput. What you said. <laughs> I have no idea how I'm first going to get to Monaco and second, how I'm going to get this fixed. Okay, he's just got it started the same as we did, but he's just about to find out that there is a whole lot more problems than just a dead battery. Been notified by Pro North Europe that you've made modifications to your Ferrari 
vehicle and he says it invalidated the warranty, they will no longer provide you the pain claim for the hotel bills or any service to your roadside assistance. I don't know what to do.